today guys I'm super excited to introduce a project we've been working on for about nine months now. Uh, it all started off with uh, Caleb's car, his SVX, that just sounds crazy. You guys go check that video out. It's a super cool car, makes beautiful noises. It really inspired us to do something with an H6. So uh, we stumbled across an 04 Outback LL Bean that had, a, it was a total loss collision. Uh, the front end was completely damaged and that it was only had about 160,000 miles on it and we ripped the motor and transmission and all the wiring and everything out of that car and then we were kind of thinking of what we should put it in we really started backwards with this project we didn't start with the chassis and then decided on an engine and transmission we really started with an engine uh, and then kind of came up with the idea as the ball kept rolling and then we really decided that we wanted to make it rear wheel drive only to really open up the full potential of the torque and the horsepower of the, the easy 30 d and so I had this crazy idea of trying to see if we can mate this to a FRS or BRZ transmission as you know those things have six speed rear wheel drive only Toyota design transmissions uh, but they're normally coupled to an FA20 which just out of sheer luck, because Subaru doesn't change anything, uh, the bolt pattern is almost exactly the same as the EJ and the EZ and the EG style motors. All Subarus that are all wheel drive, the starter is on the driver's side of the bell housing, whereas FRS and BRZs, the starter is on the passenger side of the bell housing. All I had to do to get the nose of the starter to clear is to actually section out some of the mounting flange on the block side where the bolt pattern mounts for the bell housing. Um, just enough and I kind of radiused it so that it just perfectly cleared the nose of the starter. So I ended up having to fabricate my own transmission cross member by using the factory manual transmission Subaru cross member and notching it out and buying a square tube and welding up a transmission cross member that utilized the factory FRS uh, transmission mount. Now the other issue that we have uh, is the drive shaft because no one really makes a drive shaft that goes from an FRS to an R160 rear diff and all the lengths are different. So I went to a company in Salem called Six States. Uh, they specialize in creating drive shafts uh, and I basically took them all the parts that I needed and all the measurements and we took part of the factory FRS drive shaft that I got and part of the the just basically just the yoke end that attached to the diff on the R160 and I gave them all the lengths from the output to the center carrier bearing and then the carrier bearing back and then they built me a custom two-piece drive shaft that mounted directly up to that and got all my lengths correct. Uh, so we've got a 2015 transmission <laughs> made it to an 04 engine and then I was thinking man what body would be perfect to put this motor and tranny in well I've always been a sucker for legacies and I I always thought that the the second gen legacies the GT versions had the best styling out of all the legacies just personal preference so I found this body uh, it had a knocking engine uh, and some other issues like a CV axle was torn out of the, the driver's side, which is eh, no big deal. Um, towed it all the way home from uh, Seattle. Uh, the owner, previous owner, named this car previously, so I'm sticking with it. It's bad luck, Betty, because ever the, since the day he owned this car, he had nothing but problems with it. So <laughs> bad luck, Betty, it is. <laughs> the rest of the car is pretty, just, pretty much just needed to be spruced up. The inner and outer tie rod ends and the ball joints are really loose, so I did all that. I did a full brake job on it, flushed all the brake fluid, made sure the car had nice fresh parts in the suspension. Uh, we went with a set of coilovers that are no name, and I know everyone's going to give me crap about that, but <laughs> I'm, I'm actually really surprised with the performance on it. So I can't complain now. Longevity wise, we'll see, but for now, they're working, so I'm going to run them. I've probably found the best combination of things that you could put into a Subaru. I mean, I've got a sleek body style of the GT, it's a crazy sounding H6, and the thing just makes beautiful noises. I mean, I, 
Oh, I love it. I can't get enough of that engine. And, uh, you know, it's rear wheel drive. So the characteristic of the handling, you would think that the car would have, still have the under, understeer tendency because the motor shifted so far forward. But because now that we're driving with the rear wheels, it really doesn't have that much of an understeer tendency anymore. I mean, it's really pushing the rear of the car through the corners, so it, it just feels like a completely different car. I mean, it's like no Subaru I've ever driven because, I mean, there really is no Subaru you can compare it to. And the amount of torque that it has through the close ratio FRS six speed, I mean, it just really complements the torque range that's on that motor and really opens it up. I think the cars that have the H6 currently the four EATs have such tall gears and the all wheel drive drive systems, they just bog the motor down and suck so much power away from that motor that you really don't get to feel the full, full potential of the easy 30s. But coupled to something like this, oh, it's got an amazing torque range. It's super fun to drive, very peppy. I mean, the throttle is very sensitive. <laughs> and you know, being able to drive, you can get a little skid action going on. It's, it's a pretty fun car to drive. But all in all, guys, the whole point of the build was to be unique, to be cheap, which we really, in all actuality, we don't have that much money into this car. I mean, as crazy as it sounds, with all the stuff that I did myself and buying the Rex LL Bean and buying the transmission, I don't have that much money into this car. So at the end of the day, we ended up with a product that was super fun to drive, makes beautiful noises that I just can't get enough of. And it's probably something that I'm gonna enjoy for a long time. And I guarantee you won't see another one like this on the road ever. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in guys. Like and subscribe, check out other videos and we'll see you in the next one. Why do you have to have a five inch straight pipe, okay? <laughs>